Yes, Dopey, my name is Ian Stevens. I'm Head of Curriculum Support at Taylor's International School in Kuala Lumpur. As you can see today, I've brought 10 students with me who are going to demonstrate CAS typing for you. It's a very interactive program. As you can see, the children are actually just going to be able to get on with it themselves. We're going to be wandering around and obviously checking on them. I've also got Miss Cheryl with me, and she's a qualified teacher who also works at the school within my department. During the course of this, if anybody wants to come in and take a closer look at what the pupils are doing, I know it's a classroom environment, but please feel free. Okay, that's what we'd like you to do. Most of the children won't be able to answer any questions that you have right now, and that's because they have headphones on. So please, if you'd like to direct any questions to myself and Miss Cheryl, we'll be very glad to answer them for you. Right, we're going to go and just make sure all the pupils are well on task, as they say. I'm not expecting anything otherwise from my pupils. Uh, and then I'll be back with you very shortly. He's dyslexic, okay, has no problems at all with that. And as you can see, he's actually changed not only the colour of the screen, also he's changed the font that he's using because he finds it easier to see. And he's also changed the colour of the keyboard to what his requirements are to help him best. Okay? Most of the pupils are at various stages, or were at various stages within the programme. Some of them may start all at the beginning, but I would be uh, expecting them to move on a little bit quicker. Lauren, who you can see to my right now. Give him a wave, Lauren. <laughs> Lauren has actually never seen this programme before. She is brand new to this as of three minutes ago. So if anybody again would like to come and see how Lauren is getting on, please, we would like to invite you in. Okay? goes white to allow the pupils to type. Okay, obviously this is the dyslexic screen, that's why it's not gone white. I thought at first this is a bit of an issue, but obviously when I was speaking to uh, CAS Typing, they explained to me that this is to actually slow the pupils down. You don't want the pupil just coming in, sitting down and going like this, if they're not doing the typing properly. That is not what this programme is about. Obviously as you progress through the programme, the screens change quicker. So obviously Ian is going, he is making a couple of mistakes, that's good, we always learn by them. Well done. Brandon seems to be having a few problems with his computer. So, do we, thank you very much. If you'd like to go around and ask the pupils anything regarding the program, please feel free to talk to them. Lauren, if you... So as you can see, we've got all the children at various stages doing all different things uh, with the programme. Okay. Yep. That's great, Jess. Right, no problems. Yeah. No longer within the school, but she's agreed to come back and have a look at this one uh, because she did receive access arrangement. Right, one of the uh, things that attracted me to CAS Typing. Uh, quick story, I went to London a few weeks ago to the TES SEN show. My school uh, actually paid for me to go to London for three days. I think I spent more time in the air than I did actually in London itself. And that's where I actually met this program. One of the things that obviously attracted me was the dyslexia screen. People like Ian can change it, can change the fonts, change the colours, um, which when I was looking at other programs, they couldn't actually do that. And that was one of the biggest factors that why, why I like this one in particular. Let me see if I can get Ian to keep going. While I was talking to Kaz Typing, I was informed that this program is actually used and approved by the Open University. So of course, with such a big background, if, they, if it's good enough for them, then I want to know a bit more about it and get interested in it as well. Keep going. Using your right fingers. Your mum types it over 100 words a minute. We do it for about 20 minutes um, when they come in, 
Um, the program takes, in theory, it takes 90 minutes. As you can appreciate, we want them to learn to type properly. Um, so we're doing it on 20 minutes at a time, roughly. No, uh, depends on how many sessions these pupils have, because they're also obviously in uh, mainstream as well. We do do school hours, yes. Um, I'm from Taylor's International School here in Kuala Lumpur. We've been associated with CAS Typing now for about six weeks. We're over moon so far with the results that it's producing. Uh, we're pleased with the way the children are making progress. It's a product that we're finding is doing exactly what it says on the box. The children are using all the fingers, which is what they're supposed to be doing. And we're really hopeful that when we come to access arrangements, it's going to be able to help them a lot.